Hi, friend. It's Teresa again. I'm here in my living room, also known as my studio. If you saw my little workspace tour, it's on IGTV. You can see the small confines that I'm working with, but that's okay because I still get to create and that's what's important, right? I thought that it would be fun to show you my latest piece and kind of talk you through the trials and tribulations that I went through while I was making it. A little bit different of a video than I normally do and I'm going to be doing a little bit of voiceover, but I'm also going to be popping in from time to time. So. You can see my pretty face. You're welcome. Uh, this piece came to life because I don't know if you have noticed, but there's some pretty big transitions going on right now. I am working on making it so that the Create Kit and Teresa Hatto are one because I created it. So it should all be in all under one roof because that makes everything easier for you to find. So I'm working on that and there's a lot of moving parts in it and I'm learning a lot in everything that I'm doing, but sometimes I can get really defeated and in my head. And I wanted to create this piece initially because I am working on a new logo for my website and I thought that it would be really cool to have a ink and pen sort of outline logo design and so I was working on that and I thought that it would be fun to record it for you because I know how much you love a process video and I kept getting in my head and I broke a promise to myself that I promised I was never going to do when I started this artwork journey. You see, it took a lot for me to come to this place that I am right now. I failed the bar three times and there were a lot of things that I have had to overcome to be the person that I am today. I realize now that those things happen for a reason because it led me to meet my husband and have my son and have a career that I absolutely adore now. It took a lot to finally come to that realization that it's all okay and the mistakes that you make lead you to the path that you're actually supposed to be on even if you can't see it at the time. This piece was a really great reminder of that because I had this idea in my head of what I wanted it to turn out like. I decided that something wasn't right and I needed to take some time to reflect and see what truly needed to happen to make this piece shine. I decided to start all over. You'll see that I started over more than once. I started over more than twice and how like the multiple times that I took the bar, it took a little bit to sink into my head that maybe this isn't the path that I'm supposed to take. And so I decided to take some time, go outside, have a dance party with my son, put on some really lame, cheesy boy band music and just kinda do whatever my hands wanted to and so that's what this piece is now i decided to get out of my head put the pen down pick up the paintbrush and play with some watercolor so you can see that it's kind of like a loose floral wreath i had a lot of fun adding the different colors to the painting and kind of just doing something without any rules I love how the piece turned out. It turned out better than I could have ever imagined. Kind of like what happened with failing the bar. I had this idea and this goal and this career that I thought was gonna be it. And when that didn't happen, I was absolutely crushed. I went on a journey of trying to find where my purpose was in life, what sort of career was gonna fulfill not only me, but also give back. And it was so important because the reason why I went into law was because I knew that I wanted to help people. It was really difficult for me to go into a transition of a career where I felt like I wasn't able to do that as much anymore. But then I discovered 
that I still can. I still can give back. I still can make an impact on people. And I feel like with my artwork, I'm making an even bigger impact because it's not just you seeing a piece of art that you like or that inspires you. It's you thinking about something that you see and you connect to it and it reminds you of someone that you love. And so then you purchase it for them and then they put it up in their house. And then every time that they pass it, they think of that love that you have for them. That is such an amazing gift to be able to give someone. And I am so, so happy that I get to contribute to that now. Not only that, I do get to give back to my communities. I have made it so that a portion of the proceeds of all of my pieces are gonna go back to the communities that are important to me. So I am able to make a huge impact with my art and I am so excited about it. So yes, failure sucks, but sometimes you got to find the silver lining because while it can be hard to take that test again or to put the pen back to paper, you got to keep moving forward. But you also need to kind of sometimes take a step back and be like, maybe this isn't the exact path that I need to take. Maybe there's something that I can do so that I'm still happy, but the universe is also happy. I'm so excited to hear about what you think about this piece. I hope that when you see it, it reminds you to keep striving for that goal and that sometimes if you stumble, it's okay to start over again. And sometimes it's okay to change your path. It's your life and you need to do what makes you happy. Okay, friend, that's all I have for you this week. I'll be back next week with an all new video for you. I can't wait to check in. Until then, I hope you have a great week and go head over to the website for some creative inspiration. Bye.